Hey, Rajesh, man. Hey, hi. Hi. So, uh, there was one question like, uh, <clears throat> how to optimize a sheet having a large number of a data or like a performance training of millions of rows of a data on a sheet level? So, millions uh, of rows of data on a sheet level? Yeah. So, if we have uh, millions of rows of data, so how to do a performance training? Okay. Millions of rows of data and you are showing that in your sheet, in one sheet. In, in this sheet, yeah. you are showing millions of rows of data. Yeah, yeah. So I guess uh, this would be a tabular kind of chart. That How many like. columns do you have? No, no, it's just a interview question I am talking about, not a scenario. Okay. Yeah. So see, when it is millions of rows of data, yeah. for a tableau, let it be a bar chart or let it be a text point like let it be something like this and something like the bar chart whatever it is every mark is a mark end of the day let it be a text mark or a bar or a line or something now the problem is when you are bringing your text table supposedly if you are bringing 1 million records with at least 10 rows then there are 10 million what do you say, marks or marks? Right. When there are 10 million marks, first thing is Tableau, what it does is the VSQL server, it actually tries to generate this text or image. VSQL server is used to generate this text or image. Image in the sense, the bar chart and the pie chart that you are seeing in all. So, for a VSQL server, almost, I can say exactly the same, but how much time it generate, uh, time takes to generate a bar chart and a data point like this is almost the same. So, when you have almost 10 million records, first thing is, how much ever you optimize, it is going to take a lot and a lot more of time. First, if you have so many millions of records of data, what I suggest is pagination. Pagination in the sense, they will be having the records and in, in the dashboard, they will be having records and they can see at least 100 or 1000 because even when they are looking at it, even if you have million records, here they can only see some uh, like uh, hardly 100 rows of data. So, rather than having all the data in one place, just like in here, if I bring my author ID and product name and sales. Now, for this, if you see, a person can see only certain number of rows. Okay, even if you go at a dashboard level and see, you can only see certain number of rows. Rather than giving an ability to scroll them down, right? Rather than doing that, if you can give him something like a pagination, what do I mean by pagination is, I am creating one more parameter here, right, and this is integer and all parameter ID, uh, let it be, I am giving a max of 100, you can even take value, every one is one step. So, I am writing my calculated field, if, uh, index is hmm, uh, as less is index in not for this works parameter is into index. Comma parameter two into hundred minus I'm just doing some logic that currently popping into my mind. You might use this a bit different.
calculation in the filter I am selecting to apply ok I am going to a dashboard dragging the sheet 50 right now here I am also bringing my parameter which is my parameter now if you see as I am rather than scrolling I am giving an option to move between the now then you are reducing the number of marks because now for this it, it only has to produce these many marks for your visibility you are reducing the number of marks by using this page niche so uh, what is the uh, eight stands for like pardon the param what is that eight in the parameter you have selected eight so this is actually open. allowing only one hundred rows at a time here okay. if you see, okay, let me do one. So nine means nine hundred you're talking about. Just I excuse me. <clears throat> now if you see when I'm saying one, it is between one to hundred. Right? If I go to the next, it is hundred to two hundred. Next okay. Is, okay, and this is one thing. And second thing is for Tableau to render the data, if it is numerics, it can understand it. So if I know in my company, in my company, I'm not I'm always going to have only four regions, each response. Then when I'm getting data from there, from the database. I will rather get a numerical value for this. Normally we need not, but when it's huge amount of data, every small thing that optimization will come. So bring that as numbers, whatever logic you are using, use that as numbers. And when you are displaying areas, areas then do whatever region that you want. But this will be applicable only if you are hundred percent. It is a very slowly changing dimension. Like there is no re new region going to come, right? The same way there is rarely a new state in US is going to come. Right? But you cannot do the same for product name. Because product names keep adding and get keep deleting. Or keep get, getting removed, right? So that situation is also might happen. So <coughs> these are two things that come to my mind. And as I told you, this should help you out in optimizing the performance because this itself, if you include pagination itself, it will give you a very better performance. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you open the, that calculation which you have which you have told? I'll publish this. I'll publish this to. No, no, just just to just I want to see. The, the logic if you have written. I just parameter I am using one there, right? Or what I is can, it? Into 100? Because I need 100 rows, right? Parameter, the that is a parameter value 1, 2, 3, and all, right? Okay, like 1 into 100. Yeah, okay. 3. If it is 3, it is 300 minus 100. So it will give me the start value is 200 and the end value is 300. Why minus 100? Like 200 minus 100. 300 minus 100 and 200. Yeah. yeah, because I need, I'm, I want only 100 records from here, right? So, based on my parameter selection, this is for the first, for, this is the start. If I'm say, selecting 2 in my parameter, then it will be from 200, uh, sorry, 101 to 200. 
So okay, you give me okay. 101 from 101 because 200, 2 into 100 is 200 minus 100 is 100. So index greater than 100, which is 101, to index less than or equal to 2 into 100, which is 200. Right? 101 okay. to 200. Okay. Like 101 to 200, then 201 to yeah. 200, like this. That is what okay. we are getting you here, right? Okay, got it. 